Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you an ancient Asian tamarind seed game. At least that's what I call it. It's been passed down from generation to generation from my family. Um, my mom first learned about it when she was seven from her mother, and her mother learned from her mother. And I think the game has been in our family for generations. I'm pretty sure this is hundreds of years uh, old. Um, yeah, my mom is now 77. You can see it's already 70 year, years ago since she played this game. Anyway, I'm going to show you the seed where we got the uh, the tamarind seed from. So this is from the tamarind fruit. Once you crack it open, there is the tamarind seed inside the fruit. You should eat the fruit. It's actually very good. South Asian use it for um, eating, like, you know, food, and also for, um, you know, spice and paste. Anyways, once you crack it open, you get the seed, you want to wash it and dry it and put it in a container. And when you collect enough of it, you can have fun. Today I'll be showing you how to play an ancient Asian game called a tamarind seed game. Now, I don't really know the name of it because it's so old. It's passed down to my mom and maybe my grandmother's and so on and so on but she played when she was uh, 7 she's now 77 so this game is at least 70 years old and I'm sure it's probably another 100 more years so this is a very old game played in the South Asia in Thailand, Laos and Malaysia and other areas but I'll show you how to do it so basically if you have two player I have my daughter here and myself so each will get 10 so 2, 4, uh, 6 eight and ten and I got ten as well okay so first we have to decide who's gonna go first ready okay let's go let's do the um, uh, what's it called uh, one two paper scissor rock paper scissor to see who's going first pa rock paper scissor okay I lost so my daughter's going first all right okay so my daughter's gonna grab all the seat together and she's gonna roll it on a flat piece. So you need a really nice flat uh, surface. There you go. And then now the key to the game, as she's gonna show you, is to actually uh, draw a line to say, let's say you wanna hit this two um, tamarind seeds. You draw a line, now make sure you can't touch it. If you touch it, then you lose. And then you gotta hit that other tamarind seed. Now that tamarind seed cannot hit other ones or you lose again as well. So let's say, now there's a strategy to this as well. For example, let's say you try to get this one, but you gotta remember if you do these ones, and there's the further, there's also one that's very far away. So if you try to do the short ones, there's gonna be a lot of long ones, and you're gonna lose as well because that means it'll be harder to hit. So the strategy for this one maybe is that to hit, draw a line here, hit this one first. So now you limit the f one that's further away, and then you have these threes that's closer. Okay, so go ahead. My doll's going first, so she's going to try to think of a way to... Okay, so she draw a line. Oh, did she miss? Oh, she hit it. Okay, good. She got to cap the two, and then she's going to keep going. Okay. Got that one. Okay, so she got six already. Okay, so that was okay, she didn't touch it. Oh, she did touch it, so that means she'd lose a turn, so it's my turn now. So now my turn, I actually, the, the, the game is actually, um, it's my turn, I have to roll it again. Okay, instead of starting where it was, you have to roll it again. So my turn now, it's hard for me to um, roll with one hand, I'm trying to pick up all the seed here. Let me just pick up all the... Okay, here we go. Right, here we go. Okay, so strategy is to get to get the further one away first. Okay, good. And No, that I can't see. The problem is, you see these two? They're so close. If I hit that one, I might be unable to um, hit it. But let's 
draw line, see if I can, without hitting this one. Okay, good. Okay. Oh! Okay, so oh. it's my daughter's turn again. So far, I only got four. She got uh, six, so she's winning. Like I said, this is a very old game, played in the South Asia. Probably at least 100 years old. I don't have a name for it, but I'm going to call it Tamarind Sea Game. And uh, we'll call it Ancient Asian Tamarind Sea Game. So now my daughter is trying to find ways to hit it. So notice she's hitting it away, so, just so that the probability of hitting the other seed is uh, less. So that's chance. So this is actually a very good strategy game. You know, you know, you don't need a marble, just a tamarind seeds like these one you see. And just play. You don't need fancy oops. Okay, so she lost a turn. It's my turn now. Okay. Grab the seed. And roll it. Ooh, and it's far away. So strategy is to get the one further away first. Oh, okay, I lost again. See, I had to hit the seat, so it's my daughter's turn again. Okay, good. So she's gonna figure out ways to, um, let's see what she's gonna do. She's really thinking because she's thinking if she hits it too close and there's these pieces that's further away, she might want to hit that fur the piece that's further away. So it's, everything's connected. I want a shortest pathway because the probability of hitting it. See, there we go. She missed it. Okay, so it's my turn again. So I guess it depends on the surface of um, you know the area that you're playing as well, right? It'd be interesting if you play on the uh, you know those. This surface was made of ice and it's very smooth and things can move around. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's a smooth surface, it should be okay. Okay, so here we have mine. The problem here, you see, they're very close. If I hit it, I might hit the other one. So i got to be very careful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here. I'm going to hit that one. Oh, missed. Okay, my daughter's turn.